What's up YouTube? My name's Quickie, welcome back to the channel. And, uh, I've just, I've changed out my bandsaw blade because I need to lop a bit of that off. It can't even get through alley. There's no way it's getting through steel. <laughs> but basically I'm making something so I can get these yolks done. That's happening today and you'll see the video shortly. However, this one is a short video that I'm not looking forward to make because it's bad news and you're going to hate it and I'm going to get loads of grief for it and it's just it's not good so uh where do i start right um a few days ago i did a video which was all where's jixit why aren't you working on jixit where's steve-o I haven't seen steve-o in ages what's going on and i did a video explaining it all if you haven't seen it i'll put one of them doicky things up in the corner you can go and have a look see and then all this is going to make sense um, so if you haven't seen it, go and have a look-see. It's all right, we'll wait. All right, we're back. So anyway, Steve-O saw that video, um, and it made him have a think about a couple of things, and then he's, he's given me a call. Uh, he, he phoned up yesterday. Today is Thursday. Um, so pretty much you know straight off he's had a good think about stuff and he's ended up giving me a call we had a long chat about some stuff a lot of details i ain't telling you because it's not my place um but it was a good chat to have so if you cast your mind back um uh, steve-o basically got made redundant ages ago and it took him a long 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 time to get himself another job because he's in a bit of a niche market with the old job and he was looking to get you know something similar in the same sort of field that didn't happen it took about a year um that he was out of work for so that put a load of stresses and strains on him um you know financially as well as you know mentally and all that sort of stuff um because it's not a nice position to be in. And then pretty much straight after we took Jixit apart, sadly his dad, um, who has been poorly for a long time, he took a proper turn for the worst. Um, so he's had all that lot to deal with as well. Now, every time Steve-O comes down here, he lives in Bridgewater, I'm in Plymouth. That's about an hour and a half away. So it costs him just in fuel getting down here. <laughs> And then the weekends he's not down here, he comes and gets his girls and takes them back. Well, they're in Plymouth as well. So he's got to come down and get them and go back, have a weekend with them and then bring them back again. Throw his, 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 his dad's um, situation on top of that. Well, they're up in Royston in Cambridgeshire. That's like a good, oh, it probably takes him five, five and a half hours to get there. And, you know, he's been sharing it out between him and his brother, but he's got to go and, and see it with folks and make sure everything's okay. So, you know, the fella has properly been under the cosh recently. I mean, not massively. I didn't know the full extent of it until we had the conversation yesterday. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. None of it was planned. Certainly none of it was planned. Um, but he's left in a position that he's got to deal with it. Um, so, essentially, um, he's having to prioritise stuff. He is not a bottomless pit of money. And the toys that he's been buying for this bike ain't cheap. You know, stuff like the Moto Gadget stuff and all that trick switch gear and the levers and, you know, he's not skimping out, but it does cost a bubble too. And now we've got to this point where it's time for paint, powder coat, bearings, gaskets, wiring, this, that and the other. Basically, he's not in a position to get it done. Um, he did say it's a conversation we should have had a long time ago because um, he sort of knew it was coming. But, you know, he was either embarrassed or... Well, I don't get that. I don't get that at all. <laughs> the stuff he's dealing with. He can talk to me about anything. But he didn't want to let people down um, as far as viewers and all that sort of stuff goes either. Um, and it's just put, like, a massive pressure on the fella that he just does not need at the minute. So I made the suggestion, um, which he's taken me up on, is basically that we're going to stick Jixit on the back burner whilst he's dealing with stuff. 
Um, he knows I only want one project on the go in here because I haven't got the space for truckloads. And what with the combination of doing the lathe and the mill and having two bikes on the go, just I ain't got any room. I ain't got the bench space. I need to do the job easily. So um, he is going to be coming down at the end of August, beginning of September. Somewhere around there, he's got a weekend free where he's not got to go up to Cambridge. Um, so he is going to come down. You are going to see him again. We are going to be having a natter and everything else. Uh, and if there's anything else he wants to add, he can add it then. This is where I'm leaving it, basically. Um, but then we are going to be getting everything to do with Jixit. So, you know, the tank, the exhaust, the frame, the wheels, the blue, yeah, everything. I'm sticking it all in the van and taking it back to his gaff in Bridgewater where he can store it in his garage. So it's out the way, it's out the weather, it's not going to deteriorate. And then when he is in a position to sort of crack on and get it done, then we'll bring it all back and we can have at it. And that'll be a project that we just see from start to finish. And if he's been able to, you know, get some bits and bobs that he's going to need to get the job done in the meanwhile, happy days. It just means we can crack on and get stuff done. Um, so, essentially, I am now left just with one project, and that's ASBO. Um, and that's what I'm getting on with, and that's what I'm doing, and that's all I'm doing until he's done, basically. <laughs> now, this, is gonna, this news is going to upset a few people, I know. There's been people that's been watching the channel for ages, and they've seen Jixit rock up as a bit of a mishmash of everything, pulled apart and changed and blah de blah de blah I have put a ton of work into that bike um, and I don't begrudge any of it it is sad that I'm not going to see it finished for a while because I really wanted to see it and have a go on it when it was all done um, but I totally get why it's the sensible thing to put it on the back burner while Steve-O's dealing with all this other stuff and just give the man a break basically oh it's John in his forklift today it's all right it's a speed bump out front here and every time he goes over it in that thing I'll just think whatever he's got on the front he's going to fall off <coughs> um, what was I saying yeah I have put like blood sweat and beers into that bike um, so if anybody should be properly knocked off that it's not getting done and it's put on a back burner it should be me and I ain't I'm not at all, and I'm hoping other people ain't either. So that's it, that's the situation, that's what's happening. Um, I wanted to make this video just to fill you all in on what's going on, because obviously, you know, I mean, Dixit was the thing that launched the channel in the first place. Um, and a lot of people have been watching right from the start, and they're itching to see the bike finished and see us have a go on it and all that sort of stuff. So there are going to be a lot of disappointed people, I get that. You know, some of them are going to be doing the whole, oh, you're rubbish, you haven't finished anything, and blah, 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 blah. Well, I'll get that, um, and I'm sorry, but this is the situation that we're in. Um, it's going to help Steve-O out, just take some of the burden off of him, because he don't need all this pressure as well. Um, so that's what we're doing, and that's an end to it. Um, the good news is, it ain't going to be like every other unfinished bike project. Um, just ends up on eBay getting sold off. This is going in his garage and it's getting squirreled away until he's in a position to get it done. Then he's coming back and he's getting done. So you will be seeing it again, just not for a bit. Um, you know, how many people have started a project all full of good intentions and then something's happened halfway through that's put the kibosh on it and it's all had to stall or stop or, you know, change or whatever. That's the position that we're in. Um, but like I said, I wanted to make this video just to let you know. Um, and, you know, we'll welcome any feedback and comments and stuff that you've got. So, you know, have at it. Um, but the good news is we do have a project to be carrying on with. We've already made a start on it, so we're just carrying on with it. That's it. Asbo is the beastie that I'm doing. <laughs> but there you go. That's it. That's where I'm leaving it. Thank you ever so much for watching. Do hope you're staying well. And we will see you again soon. Layers!